This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys. So we are working on making videos related to constellation. So as a part of that, I thought of, you know, making a video on how to use this Gen AI blueprint to build an end to end application easily without writing a single line of code. See, building an application is not just building this uh, base rules, right? Like, you know, the organization division framework and implementation layers. No, 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 no. It is also about building the case types, building the UI, building the, you know, data types, building the integrations, creating the operators, personas and XYZ things. So using this Gen AI blueprint tool, how easily can we do it without writing a single line of code? So this blueprint is a very powerful tool in this constellation architecture. Using it, we can just build an end-to-end -end application in minutes, maybe max in 10 to 15 minutes, you can do it, okay, without writing a single line of code. I'm sure you will be shocked to see how things are made easy using this Gen AI blueprint after watching this video. Okay, now let's start the hands-on. So first, you please go to this mypega.com and go to My Trials. Okay, so once you go to my trails, as you know, you know, starting from Pega 24 or 8.8 .8 version, they are not giving this personal edition. So we need to practice in my trails only. And this is valid only for 30 days. After 30 days, they will, you know, reset everything. So you always need to take a backup copy of the code so that after 30 days trial is over, it will be again a clean new brand new instance. So you need to again reinstall your code or, you know, deploy the code and use it. So always make a habit of taking a backup copy. Now, anyways, we'll start how to use it first and how to build an application using this most powerful tool, Blueprint. So first click on learn, learn more. We need to register. So scroll down and down till you find this option. Okay, don't go for Blueprinting now. Just say sign up. Okay, so I'm already in and I say I agree to terms and conditions register for community edition. Now you can access your my trials in three to five minutes. Okay, so let's wait for my trials to come. Just click on this. So once your my trails is accessible, Next time onwards, you can directly go to my trials and you can launch your instance. No need to come to all these screens. Okay, so every time you come here, you will just see an option continue to trial. In case if the trial is shut down, you will find an option called as wake up instance. So just click on wake up instance and wait for two minutes. It will come up. If it is already ready, just click on continue to trial. Now we are stepping into this blueprint thing. Let's see. It's really exciting because they really made things very easy. But the but only thing is like, you know, this is only useful when you're building a brand new application. So if your application is already in production, if you have been using it in Pega 6.7.8.x and you're just upgrading to Pega 24, this blueprint will be of no use to you. It's only for people who are building a brand new project in Pega in 24. Okay, but see how things are made easy. You can select build from a blueprint means if you already have a blueprint make use of it or you can create a blueprint or you can build an application from the scratch like you used to do in Pega other versions. Okay, or you can build on top of an existing application. Now we are here to explore this powerful tool blueprint, right? So just say create a blueprint. Do you see this option build a blueprint? Yes. So when you build a blueprint, okay, you can also see there are many existing blueprints. If you want, you can make use of them. Okay. Or you can say, no, 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 no. I want to have my brand new blueprint. I don't want to use others blueprints. 
okay people who have even created blueprints you know they'll be available here if you want you can make use of it but i want to create my own blueprint so you can just click on blueprint and you can select which industry you are creating are you creating a project for banking or consumer services or garment or insurance which one so you need to select let's say i am going to create an application which is basically used for booking a flight train hotel or a bus so basically a travel booking application i want to build so i will take transportation and logistics okay now do you see this upload supporting assets hey this is really a pretty cool option okay so you can upload any flow diagram you can upload any code documents you can upload any word documents related to the requirements and just submit it will read the document it will look at the diagrams you know it will look at whatever you submitted and it will create the application end to end depending upon what the sources you have provided that was just awesome okay i'm not trying with any of these documents but you can give a trial by creating some documents or flow diagrams instead what i will do is i'll just click on the next button okay and i will just say is it passenger transportation foreign i can just say yeah it is actually for people so i can say passenger transportation and uh, just next now the application purpose it's a travel booking application right travel booking okay and uh, functional description see depending upon what you write the entire application is going to be generated so make it as details you know as descriptive as possible just put all the details here this application will be used by users to book okay tickets for flight or train or bus or hotel okay bus okay they can also book hotels rooms using this application okay users should be able to cancel or reschedule the booking okay users should have various payment options like card okay upi net banking etc now what else you need uh, you should be able to cancel or reschedule the booking okay yeah for now this is the thing i need okay uh, users should get emails on the booking on the booking details okay what else yeah this is for now you know i'm just providing uh, the information okay now let's see how it works ta -da. it's just reading whatever you have provided and it is going to build you end to end okay it will create case types data types users you know screens everything it creating see what is this this is case type so it has generated a case type for flight booking train booking bus booking hotel booking and booking change like for rescheduling and cancellations on other case type okay in case if you want to click on more you can click on generate more if you don't need any one of them you can even delete them from here if you want to edit them you can edit them from here okay so you can just uh, write down more descriptions and it will it will help you with the editing things okay now is this that's it only case types are created no 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 hold on look at this it's creating the db tables for you the data types for you so tables for flights hotels trains buses and tables for payments you know generally what all tables do we need in real time while building this application not only tables the columns inside them the data inside them everything is going to be taken care now 
things are made so easy with this see now okay uh, this is the life cycle it has built for you and here is the data model so this is still the case type only sorry not the data types yet you can see this is the case type for flight so first they'll enter the travel details then they will search the flights then they will display the flight options selecting a flight some add-ons reviewing the details entering the passenger details payments validating the payment e-ticket confirmation see everything everything in a much better way maybe when we build it we will not even think this much in detail right see everything so much in detail it is built the same way it will be building for all other case types you can have a look at them this is for trains how about hotels see for hotels it's all about rooms checking availability guest details xyz things how about this cancellation and rescheduling look at this wow just see recalculating the costs whatever is available checking the eligibility look at this how nicely they designed everything just assume how much time will it will take for a you know architect to think of all these things and build them maybe at least one or two months you now see how easy it is enough in hardly like five to ten minutes you're able to do all the things it's so good right now look at the data model these are like like work class properties all the work class properties that you required for processing the case they're creating for you if you want more they can generate more okay let's say for example you know i just want to go here okay let's move ahead click on next now it's working on the data objects the data types see they just created a table for passenger flight train bus hotel and payment it's creating tables okay now click on next now it's creating the operators or the access groups so different types of operators you can see travel booking other a person frequent traveler corporate travel manager leisure traveler customer service agent so whichever you don't need you can just remove them suppose i don't want these kind of personas i can just delete them okay i don't want this one i can delete it i only need a manager a service agent and a travel booker that's it so i can just keep whatever personas i need and just click on next now you're done that's it just download the blueprint okay just download the blueprint it's downloaded okay now what i'll do is i'll just go back to my uh, this one the instance and i say build from a blueprint now it'll ask me to upload the blueprint okay so let me pause my screen for a second so that i can upload so i have uploaded it you can see yeah i have just uploaded it and i clicked on the next button so you can see it is taking all the details from my blueprint and it is trying to book the application for me <clears throat> it is going to take some time okay but you can see everything is coming from the blueprint just keep clicking next next and next the data types the personas okay it's asking you the name of the application like i will just call it as you know go i bebo or let's say like a book make my trip i will call as mmt okay so you can just give some organization name 
like uh, uh, I'll just give it like some Paytm as the company name just something or well, let's give MMT as the company name and uh, ebooking as an application name ebooking MMT okay uh oh fine it's not taking caps uh oh and you see you can just say submit it will take some time to build the application based on the blueprint you uploaded in the meanwhile let's have a preview okay let's it complete in the meanwhile you know before you download this blueprint you can actually have a preview of your application if you scroll down and down actually there's a button here preview this one just say preview my app and see how nicely they are showing the application so you can even give a small demo to your client right away look at this you can just click on go see even the screens are developed see I can select my flights you can select your flight and then flight number the passenger details and so on and on look at this then I have some payment things okay so on and on you know? and the same thing if you want to see how it looks in a mobile you can see this the same as a customer support representative see you get a call you accept it and you can create a case suppose the same thing as a web service customer so in various different channels you are able to see how it looks okay and you can even change the theme as well see just click on this you have some themes here you can try different themes like this see how beautifully we can do it in 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 very less time we are able to do this see you can go to advanced and you can make more settings okay this is so cool right now let's see how much is implemented fine 29 percent is done but i have documents to, uh, screenshots to show you how it looks like after importing so let me show you from that so after you import the whole thing this is the screen that you're going to get where it will ask you to add a new operator for yourself so you can give your own operator and you can click on the add button and then say log off then you re-log in okay and then you can just click on the case types and you'll be able to see all the case types like this then you can click on the data types and you can see all the data types generated like this okay and similarly you can see personas and everything so hardly within 10 to 15 minutes you you build like 30 to 40 percent of the application you have built you have saved almost like two to three months of effort such a nice tool right this blueprint yes so please try explore it and let me know if you have any questions thank you so much